the United States of America, a beacon of democracy, capitalism, and freedom. Truly an icon of the new world. Such a powerful icon that even after the complete end of the modern world, such an, as is in the after the end universe, it still lives on in the minds of its former people. So today, as the Kennedys, who I really hope they are related to actual Kennedys in real life because I really don't know the lore, in this one small county of Barnstable, we shall bring back the original 13 colonies back into the fold and restore the icon that once was America. So, as explained before, we start as the small, small count of Barnstable, Chieftain Patrick, who follows the Americanist faith surrounded by a bunch of occultists. So, the first ta task is to secure our survival and gain a foothold in the region before having any ideas of restoring the US. Because of this, I knew I couldn't let our heretic neighbors get any alliances, so for that I immediately declared war for the neighboring county that normally joins the Duke of Boston. After winning the crucial initial battle, I won the war, so we had already doubled in size, that's a win. But if we stopped expanding, especially in this region, we would be toasted, so I looked up north and saw a few weak rulers and started expanding my reach in New England almost up to the former Canadian border. Also a big bonus was that since I was still tribal, my men at arms were still prestige based instead of having to actually pay for them. So I was not losing the amount of money I was expecting to lose. Feeling ready, I declared war for the two islands next to me. Now that I controlled three counties and a lot more men, and after two battles I took those counties and so in just a few years I was now the Duke of Cape Cod. Of course, this wouldn't be an American video if we, instead of learning per learning perks from, you know, Alexander the Great or Julius Caesar, like in the base game, we learned all of these perks by studying the American Caesar, Douglas MacArthur. Yeah, I, I just wanted to point out the extra flavor this mod added. It, it's, it, it really builds up the world. Anyway, after I took a break from conquering, as I decided to murder the Lord of Boston so that his realm would split, and, well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, now uh, His realm was divided. I first took the county that became uh, a duke, thanks to the inheritance laws. And after that, I declared war for the whole duchy of Boston so that I could get a proper base of operations in the region. Since the occultic duke was still stronger than me, I called a, fer a fellow Americanist ally from New Jersey. We swiftly defeated the armies of the heathens and took Boston back. I moved my capital to the metropolis that in this mod, big cities are actually considered their own holding type and continued my expansion in the Canadian border. Funny enough, after taking Boston I instantly became feudal, so that meant I was spared from the trouble of actually having to feudalize through the decision stuff. Another important detail was that my culture of lobster man had a special tradition of practiced pirates, meaning that I was still able to raid the entire coast of New England, although I was too focused on expanding as fast as possible so I kinda forgot I had this amazing tool on my hands. So, quick tip, if anyone wants to do this, uh, what you want to do is first raid your enemy, that way you can soften his troop size and get the extra loot from the provinces you're about to conquer, and later declare war to actually get the county. You know, double dip. 
Anyway, after murdering yet again another, another heretical duke, this time the Duke of Maine, and after defeating his child successor with the f help of a fellow fair Americanist brethren, I was now ready to become the King of New England. But I was short on cash to get my second duchy title and the money to actually get the kingdom titles itself. So I actually went raving for a bit. And so after usurping the title of the child that I defeated earlier, I was officially the adjutant general of New England. At this point, the petty realms in the rest of New England, the New England region, were too weak to do anything about my conquests, so I went on a mad conquering spree for my de jure land. But by this point, I had united all of the de jure lands for the Kingdom of New England, and that's when I noticed that the Kingdom of Hudsonia was not only encroaching on my territory, but also that if I declared war for the whole kingdom, I could basically form the Empire of the Northeast at that point. So using this opportunity while the king was weak with no allies, I used my special Casus Belli for the whole kingdom title. I called my allies, expecting he would hire some mercenaries or something, so I thought I would need as much help as possible. But instead the war was relatively quick actually, as I didn't even have to fight his armies at all, as I just sieged down a few counties including his capital, and yeah, that was basically all the war score I needed to end the war. And after this, I actually got all the land I needed to create the empire title. Of course, while it was easy to take the title, the people of Hudsonia uh, were certainly not happy about an Americanist being its new overlord, so a rebellion triggered, and considering the staggering amount of troops they had, uh, they certainly po posed a much bigger threat than the former king did. But the thing is that because, well, they are just a bunch of peasants, as long as you don't let them unite their entire force, you can pick them one stack at a time, and that's Basically, again, what happened, I just called the rebellion relatively easily, and when the leader was captured in a battle, the entire uprising, uprising was put down. As I didn't want to leave the, any loose ends after converting a handful of provinces to my Americanist faith, I declared war on the surviving heathens in Connecticut, and to no one's surprise, yeah, they didn't stand any chance. After I quickly cleaned up the remaining the Jew outliers that were still not under my rule, and after roughly 40 to 50 years in game, I was now the Emperor of the whole Northeast, or should I say the Commander in Chief. But you know, Northeast didn't really make it for me, so I just changed the title to actually to New England. Now, you would think that this would be the time to rest and build up, right? Well, uh, wrong. The thing is that since we are the Kennedy family, after all, in this month the Amer Americanist faith has its own branch that has JFK uh, as its own, like, main figure, but it's only present in Florida and some Texan counties. So in the efforts 
I could turn to that branch with less piety and send an entire expedition to the coast of Florida against the farthest ruler I could declare war. And I just basically need a single county with that branch required. So I declared war on the Watney dynasty. Yes, that's a real thing. They even controlled Disney's castle at the start of the game from a single county. And after winning the quick war, I turned to the imaginarianism branch of the Americanist faith. I also used this time to change up the coat of arms to differentiate the empire and kingdom tiles of New England, so they, they wouldn't mix. I also proceeded to get back the Disney castle from the Miami Pirates, since, you know, it's a holy site to the Imaginarian, so... After this, I wanted to secure my next metropolis in the menu, and that was New York, or more specifically Manhattan. So after murdering a fellow Americanist uh, that had a fuck ton of allies, I declared war for my Dejure County and got one of the more developed cities in the entire map under my possession. During another war, the cocky Duchess of Long Island thought that backstabbing me as I was busy in another conflict would be a good idea. Unluckily for her, I quickly wrapped up my war and picked up her armies as well as her allies' army one by one, and so with her armies routed, I won the wars and got some extra gold out of it. Oh, and I immediately proceeded to declare war of, uh, on her for one of my de jure counties. And as you could imagine, I won an easy war by just defending myself and taking advantage of the stupid AI's decision. Although, I will give it credit where credit is due, as the AI now tries to be more aggressive than in previous patches. A few years passed, and after accumulating a bunch of piety and getting the necessary perks, it was time to create my own branch of the Americanist faith. As even though I win willingly turned to the Kennedy branch, not only was it pluralist, which is horrible for my playstyle, it was also uh, the thing was that we also considered other Americanists astray instead of hostile. So uniting the region of Maryland and Virginia would take a long long time if I couldn't use the holy war casus belly. So for that I decided to create my own faith with the changes being fundamentalism to convert the counties faster and so I could revoke titles of heathens without any tyranny penalty, making other Americanist faiths hostile to use the holy wars and making our faith male dominated uh, to avoid having a lot of claimant successors even if you know it actually goes against the whole American ideal of everyone is born equally, but you know, sometimes some sacrifices are needed to be made for the greater good. And so, with the new emphasis of reclaiming the original 13 colonies, this new branch from the Americanist faith took on the name of Manifest Destinism, with the original of idea of Manifest Destiny back in the 1800s of America's rightful claim to head from coast to coast. With that, the stage for the American reunification was laid out. As preparations for the eventual wars in the purpose of restoring the once mighty nation in the North American continent were set in motion. But unfortunately, Commander-in-Chief Patrick would not see this as months after proclaiming his new faith, he would pass away into the next life. Leaving his son, Theophilus, to fill the shoes this great conqueror had on the rest of the New England region. But you know, that's a story for another time. 
And that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the journey of the great hero Patrick that went that went from being a nobody count surrounded by occultic heathens to the commander in chief of the whole New England region, creating his new faith so that his descendants finally restore his dream of bringing back the United States of America. If you'd like to see more content like this, remember to subscribe as this really helps out the channel. You are dismissed, soldier.